this is Marcy. I hope everyone's doing well today. Friends, as you can see, I am still camping. I will be camping all week long. And it is such a lovely day at the campsite today. The sun is shining. It's nice and warm, but it's not too hot because we've got so many trees and they're giving us nice cool shade. So we've got a nice blend of the sunshine and some shade. And that got me thinking about a little science experiment that I wanted to try involving the sunshine and shade and ice cubes. And I thought this is a perfect place to do it because we've got all this room and we've got all those things. So to get that started, I'm going to need your help, okay? Sounds good? All right, let's get to it. Okay, so for the first part of this experiment, we have two cups of ice. So I want to see what's going to happen if I leave one cup of ice in the sunshine and if I leave one cup of ice in the shade. If the ice cubes are going to look any different, well, what's going to happen to them? So we're going to test that out. We're going to leave one glass in the sunshine, move one to the shade, and we will check up on them in 10 minutes to see if our ice cubes have changed at all. So while we're letting our ice cubes do their own thing, we can check out a little story about what exactly it is that sunlight does. Okay, so this story is called, What Does Sunlight Do? by Jennifer Boothroyd. Sunlight comes from the sun. The sun is actually a star. We need light to see, and the sun gives us the light. Sunlight brightens the sky. The sun even makes light on cloudy days. The sun rises early in the morning. See the sun peeking through those trees? And the sun climbs higher later in the day. Sunlight is strong in the early afternoon. And the sun sets in the evening, starts to go low, and by nighttime, bedtime, it's dark. And then the moon comes out, and the moon gives us a little light that it reflects from the sun's light. Sunlight gives us heat. It heats the ground. You can see this ground is hot and dry and thirsty. Sunlight warms animals. It warms us up, too. It heats water. Sunlight is stronger in summertime, and there's less sunlight in winter. Sunlight has many uses. These clothes are drying in the sunlight. Plants need sunlight to grow. We need sunlight. Our bodies need sunlight to make vitamin D. Vitamin D makes our bones strong. We need sunlight to make electricity. We make sunlight into electricity. These panels here catch sunlight and do just that. Why do you like sunlight? Okay, so now is also a good time to make some predictions about what we think is going to happen. And predictions are just some guesses. So, uh, what do you think will happen to the ice cube left in the sunshine? And what do you think will happen to the ice cube left in the shade? And finally, which ice cube do you think will melt first? We'll have to wait and find out. Okay, now that it's been 10 minutes, we're going to check on our ice cube. So let's move this one that was in the shade a little closer to the one that was in the sun. Now, if you see, our ice cube that was in the sun is far smaller than the ice cube that was in the shade. The one that's in the sun is practically melted mostly water. It's an itty bitty ice cube. And the one that's in the shade has a little bit of water. It's like still stuck to the cup. It's still pretty cold. There it is. 
little bit of water, but it's definitely much bigger. It's melted a much slower. That's because the sun provided more heat to the ice cube that was in the sun. So the sun got it hotter faster and that's why it melted quicker. Now, we're gonna try this experiment again, but we're gonna put a little twist to it. Now, I'm gonna put some new ice cubes in each cup. Now this time, both cups of ice will be out in the sunshine. We're gonna leave them both out. So we know that they're both gonna melt pretty quickly because they'll both be in the sun. But one cup of ice is going to be on top of a black sheet of paper. And the other one going to be on top of a white sheet of paper and we're going to see if that makes any difference to the ice cubes okay so just like the first round we're gonna leave this out for 10 minutes and then we'll come back and check on them now it's time to make some more predictions some more guesses will the color of our paper really affect our ice cubes what do you think will happen to the ice cube on the black sheet of paper what do you think will happen to the ice cube on the white sheet of paper? And this time, which ice cube do you think will melt first? Let's see. Okay, so now we're back for part two and we're checking on our results of what happened to our ice cube on our black paper and what happened to the one on top of our white paper. So as you can see, they're both in the sunlight, so they're both melting pretty quickly. This time they both melted faster than the one we left in the shade. But let's check out to see if one melted more than the other. Let's see, what about white one there that's the size of the white ice cube and then so not too huge but if you notice the ice cube that was on top of the black piece of paper is smaller than the one that was on top of the white that means it melted faster that's because of the black paper dark colors like black black is the darkest in this scheme absorb heat from the sun that means they take it in and they hold on to it lighter colors reflect it that light bounces back off of them so if you'll notice on another on the next uh sunny day maybe like today if you're outside wearing a black shirt you're probably going to heat up and get hotter a lot quicker than if you were outside wearing a white shirt it's because darker colors the closer the color is to black the more heat it will absorb and lighter colors don't hold on to it as much it, it bounces off of them so pretty neat huh so we learned ice cubes in the direct sunlight will melt faster than ice cubes in the shade and ice cubes on top of a dark color will melt faster than those on top of a white one because it's hot in the sunshine because the sunshine gives us heat and because dark colors hold on to that heat. Pretty neat, oh. Thank you so much for predicting and observing and learning with me today. Have a great rest of your day.